The heroin epidemic gripping our state now has a new danger affecting people who don't even use drugs. Yeah, in fact, it's one you and even your children could easily come into contact with in a restaurant, at a gas station, or even in a park. Our Jenny Renovich tonight shows us the warning tonight from police. Well, here's the potential danger. You're walking in the park, maybe right near the playground with kids and families, and you find a needle on the ground. Police in Johnson County say it is happening more and more. At Franklin City Pool Monday, a disturbing discovery by the diving boards. We found a, the end of a syringe. <laughs> Family and staff immediately feared drugs. It had a little bit of blood on it, which was concerning, and they did the right thing. They called the police, and we came and recovered it. In this case, narcotics detectives determined the needle was for medical use, not illegal drugs. But investigators warned there is an increasing problem, used needles being left by drug addicts in public places. I mean, they literally turn up everywhere. It's getting a little out of control, and, and there's a bit of a fear base with the public as a result of it. On patrol, police are finding them. They just arrested two women after finding needles, spoons, and white powder in their car on the side of US-31. Johnson County's had 238 arrests this year for possessing a drug injection device. But it's not just police making these dangerous discoveries. Uh, supervisor said they found one at a couple of parks. City workers and neighbors are finding needles, too. I mean, any kid could touch that. We could touch it while working. People find them in their yards where addicts are just throwing them out the window. Um, had a report a neighborhood playground. Um, they found needles there. We've gotten reports from uh, patrons of gas stations and restaurants that they find them in the bathroom. So it's kind of scary if you're going to take your child. I would always say take your child in and, and be supervised, as sad as that is to say. But... You never know who's in there. You don't know what kind of paraphernalia they've left behind. So it's a safety issue. One they say anyone could stumble upon. In Johnson County, Jenny Runovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And by the way, tonight, Franklin police have a message for everyone. Now, it may sound simple, but if you see a needle anywhere, don't touch it. Just call the local police on their non-emergency line and report it.